So today we are going to continue from part time and today we are going to be setting up the packages. Currently we've set up the navigation, we've also set up the different modules for the different departments. As I mentioned, we are going to be adopting a microservices based approach. So we are going to finish with the HR department completely and make it work and later we move to another department and later we move to another department and later on if we want to add new department to the, to the company, it's going to be very easy. So let's see where we are. So I'm going to, I've started this application and I'm going to uh, the uh, HTTP local host is running at port 8080 local host. Now second. All right, so this is where we are currently. And so far, everything is fine. So we use the layout page. Permit me to reduce the size of this. Actually, uh, so I can just go to HR. So this index page, I can go to HR. So the main page, which is the dashboard, uh, is still using the index page. So I'm going to correct that. So if I go to this index page, we have all these widgets. So let's quickly correct it before we proceed. So I'm going back here and I'm going back here. So if I go to the index page, so let's make this index page use the layout page. So I'm go what I'm going to do now is to go to is to go to the the first part of this uh, page, and I'm going to simply delete the head. I'm going to delete the head because we want to make it use the layout page. I'm going to delete the head, and I'm also going to come to this place and delete uh, almost delete this container here and I'm also going to delete a number of things. So it's going to be easier to just replace the sidebar. So I'm going to copy the sidebar from the layout page and use it to replace the one we have in the index page. So I'm going to go to replace the sidebar. So I'm going to go to the index page. I'm going to scroll down to the sidebar, not the header, but the A side. I'm going to just replace this here. All right, so I'm going to rerun this application and just, just, just make sure it's fine. So in this class, we are going to be, or in this very class, we are going to be setting up the, the packages. So let's just refresh, just make sure. So you can see everything is okay right now. And we have the fleet home and we have every other home pages or the modules. All right, so let's go back to our application. So this is where we are. So right now, as I mentioned, we are going to be having different modules or different microservices. So what it means is that for each of these uh, folders, we need also a folder for the package right here. So for instance, I need to create an account folder. I'm going to create an account folder here, or in this case, it's going to be account package. So I'm going to call it account. And for the account package, we must have four different items inside. We have the module, we have the models, we have the services, we have the repositories and the controller. So for each of this package, each of these modules, we must have four different items. So each module is going to be self-contained. So I'm going to come here and create another package. Inside here, I'm going to call it models. So data models or the models is simply uh, what represents the data. So I'm going to also create another package. So in this case, it's going to be seconds repositories. And I'm going to create another one. So it's going to be controls. And finally, I'm going to create another one, which is the services. All right, so I've set up the account department right now. So basically, we are going to do exactly the same thing for every other department. So I'm going to do it for fleet, for help desk, for HR, for parameters, and for payroll. So basically, I'm just going to copy and paste and just change the name. I'm going to copy this and paste and change the name. So I'm going to change this name, name here to HR. 
So this is what I'm going to do for the remaining ones. So I'm going to paste again and change it to uh, help desk. And I'm going to paste again and change to payroll. And I'm going to paste again and change parameters. And I'm going to paste again and change to so what's left is should be um, um what does this mean? So we have four different package for each of the modules. So the models is the data model that is the object. For instance, we have a vehicle and we have uh, other objects. Uh, okay, so I would like us to stop here. So in the next part, because I actually made it into different sections. So in the next part, which is 11, we are now going to talk about the data model. So I'm going to stop here. Please remember to subscribe if you've not, if you've not subscribed. And also, if you have any challenges, please let me know in the comment box below. I remain kind to the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.